Hello everyone, this is Prabhjot Kaur and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to tell you how I have developed a little and small application using Frappe framework. From last many days, I am spending my time with Frappe and understanding this framework. Working in a framework is different from working in a scratch language. Till now, I have only worked in the scratch language and I was familiar with PHP and MySQL. But framework is today's trend and you, if you want to develop the application so fast, you need, you have to work in framework. So this was my first experience with any kind of framework. So I have chosen this Frappe framework, which is totally based on Python language. And this is also the trend nowadays because Python is replacing everything and it is everywhere because it, this is very flexible language. So you are going to get Python everywhere. Even if you are not from the computer science background, you still have to start working in this language so this is uh, how I have uh, made some report that whatever I have done throughout these days while I was spending my time through Frappe so let's begin let me show you how I had developed firstly I was thinking uh, to develop some application which is going to maintain the applications of students and they those applications are going to be forwarded by the faculty and then after that it is going to be forwarded to HOD and HOD will decide whether this application has to be approved rejected or it it need to be uh, forwarded to the dean so after it reached to the dean so dean can decide either to approve this application or to reject this so this was the entire procedure that i was thinking when previously i started i have made some planning that uh, that what i have to do using this frappe so this was the actual planning that i was going through and i was trying to make that what i will do because at this stage when i freshly started frappe uh, I was knowing very little things about Frappe, so I was I have planned the application accordingly. But it's with time, when I was experimenting and uh, I was stucking at some problems, so I shifted and changed my planning accordingly. Because this experience is totally different from working in a scratch language. Because when you are working in scratch language, you have complete independence. You have everything under your control. No doubt this that thing is going to take a lot of time to develop even a small applications because you always work from ground level from scratch. But in framework, most of the things, most of the applications which are common to all type of web applications or sort of softwares, they're already built in. So already ready-made applications, ready-made plugins are available. You just have to start working on, uh, on your own logic. I have spent approximately three to four days to solve the problem and how how I solved that problem and what was exactly the issue I have uh, written everything in my article and the link is in the description of this video you can read from there so that you can get the fresh and error free Frappe installation and then you can start working on that so let's open up uh, my virtual machine Ubuntu I have also made the video how you can get your Ubuntu on your windows without getting dual boot of your windows operating system so you can watch from iCard and link, link will also be in the description of this video so let's open up my virtual machine onto which i have already installed ubuntu now let me get this setup ready so that i can start showing you where that application is so i'll go to the browser and then open up the application this project is actually called as application management software this is going to be applicable for educational institutions so students they will submit their applications online through a web form and after that that application will be submitted to the faculty and then faculty will read that application and then if this is going to be suitable so that faculty is going to forward the application to HOD after that HOD will read the application so HOD will can either approve the application right away or it can forward to the dean if it is not the matter under his control so after that when application will be forwarded to dean dean can again do two tasks either it can approve or it can re reject the application student after submitting the application they have to be registered with this 
particular application they will be having their username and password and that username will be their email id which is going to be registered with this application so after submitting the application when they have to submit the application no login will be required but they have to provide the email in web form in which in the same email they have registered with this particular application so they can track their applications where currently their application is what is the status now whether it is lying with the faculty or it has been approved or rejected or forwarded to hod or dean so they can there track their applications students can only view their applications but principal and administrator can can view all the applications submitted by any of the students if you found some value in the content shared in the video please hit the like button below also do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates thank you for watching